Hello, Capricorn. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. I appreciate your time. That I do. Uh, talking about time, I wanna remind you that all of my videos are time stamped anymore. You can jump right ahead to the tarot reading if you would like. Cause you know I'm gonna chat here for a minute before I get to the cards. And that's because, I, you know, I wanna say thank you. Whoa, eight cups jumping out here. Eight cups jumping out here, Capricorn. Looks to me like Capricorn may have walked away from something. We'll get into that in a minute. But I definitely wanna say thank you to all my friends that have uh, reached out, hit that old like button every time. Thank you so very much for that, my friends. And those of you that have hit the subscription button, turned that old bright red button into that beautiful gray, thanks. Big shout out and thank you to all my Capricorn friends that have blessed me with donations. Wow, many of you. Very kind of you, my friends. I appreciate them all, large or small. Cappy, if you bless me with a donation, thank you. And of course, a big shout out and thank you to all my Rambling Nation members. I love you guys. Thank you for your continued support month after month. Uh, great appreciation for each and every one of you, my friends. Going to take a minute right here and talk about some of the perks of Rambler Nation. If you've been thinking about becoming a member, love to have you. Giving away a lot of stuff these days. Seven, seven tarot and oracle decks on the first half of February. We'll do another seven the second half of February. 14 tarot decks every month right now and at least 50 shirts. We're giving away to members of Rambler Nation. Here we go. Here's the first one we're giving away to a member of Rambler Nation beginning of the month. Beautiful Creatures Tarot, love this deck right here. An Oracle deck that we're giving away this beginning of this month is the Fairy Tale Oracle. And so you got some more oracles right here. The Oracle of Shadows and Light, giving that away to a member of Ramblin' Nation. The Oracle of the Shapeshifters, giving that one away as well. Two tarot decks right here, the Fairy Tarot. One of the members of Ramble Nation is going to grab that one right there. And the Tarot of the Celtic Fairies right here. And uh, la last but definitely not least, huh, is the Fairies Oracle right here. Give away a lot of stuff over there at Ramble Nation. Got a lot of things going on every Wednesday night. Every Wednesday night. Give away uh, tarot and t-shirts live broadcast to my members and we play cards on Wednesday nights as well and uh, every Saturday uh giveaway um live broadcast giveaway tarot decks t-shirts to the members of Ramblin Nation generally on Saturdays we do a, a Q&A session people ask me questions about tarot and love and all that fun stuff and then every Sunday is Sunday fun day over at Ramblin Nation of course they share two of those Sundays with the collective, but the rest of the month, the rest of the Sundays, if you're wondering where we're at, we're over there uh, beating down cards over at Ramblin' Nation right there. So if you've been thinking about becoming a member, like I said, love to have you. The join button is right down beside the subscription button. If that old join button isn't on your device, there's always a link in the description area of all of my videos to take to the membership page. And I'll see many of you Wednesdays, Saturdays, and many, many Sundays over there at Ramblin' Nation. All right. Let's do it. Little look-see at love right here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's tune in. Hey, Terry Love Team, Capricorn's here to play with us. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Let me see Help me speak what I need. Help Capricorn see and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all these amazing pictures. Let's put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Capricorn's highest good. Thank you so very much for that love team. I cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guys. Here we go, Capri Cap. Cut in the, cut in the deck. Let's see what the tarot has to say. I'm going to just do a little freestyling today. Get these out of my way. So we can sling some cards, huh? Here we go. Capricorn, little look see at love right here. Thank you, love team. Little freestyle for Capy Cap. Love. Here we go. First card out. Ooh, Ace of Swords. Nice. It's about a new beginning. 
a new beginning, uh, shuffling your cards. Uh, like I said, I did see that, that eight of cups, you know, walking away from uh, the king of pentacles that could uh, very much talk about walking away from somebody that appeared to be the catch at one time in your life, you know. Uh, obviously was not. And this is the ace of swords. It's about new communication coming in. Air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. It's also a very sharp sword. It's able to cut things out of your life that no longer serve you for your highest good. Let's see where this is going, Cap. Cap. What do we got, love team? Capricorn. Ooh, passionate messages. My Princess of Wands showing up here. This is communication coming in one way or another, either from Cappy or, or coming in for Cappy. Uh, it's passionate messages, something that somebody's wanted to do for a while right here. I like it, man. This is nice. A new beginning, Ace of Swords, clearing some energy. This is about a new start, new communication, a lot of passion here. Here we go. What do we got? Ooh, Ten of Cups came out. Happy days. Happy days are here again, Capricorn. Wow. Ten Cups coming out, hot, passionate communication about, you know, Ten of Cups is the happy ever after. Once upon a time, there was Capricorn, and they lived happily ever after. Got the rainbow with the Nine Cups of wish fulfillment. The babies, the bliss running in the yard, the happy home, the happy family. The Tenth Cup in the lover's hands. Woo! Yeah, passionate communication about the potential of Ten of Cups. Here we go, man. I love it. I love it. Here we go. Capricorn, what you got, love team? Six Pinnacles came out as well. You know, let's just go ahead and... <laughs> Ten Cups and Six Pinnacles is great cards for rambling. Because, well, you know, Six Pinnacles is about equal give and take in a relationship. That's nice. Uh, <laughs> obviously, if there was... Eight cups from a king of pentacles, male or female, right? Uh, there wasn't equal give and take. A six pentacles is also the great philanthropist in the tarot. Ooh, love and money. What's going on here, Cap? Cap, happy days. One more for Capricorn, please. Thank you, love team. Oh, the old wounded warrior came out. The old wounded warrior, oh, Cappy Cap, looking at all this right here. You know, my wounded warrior, the one that's been through the battle, expecting more of the same, right? But what don't kill you makes you stronger. That's what this card is about. And the old wounded warrior right there, got the little wall up there a little bit, huh, Cappy Cap? But, you know, it's really not much of a wall, if you ask me. Yeah, Cupid's Arrows of Love could shoot right through that little wall right there. And it looks like, prepare, prepare for Cupid's Arrows of Love to come shooting through that wall right there, Cappy. Because, you know, the old wounded warrior, they still have that, that ace of wands in their hand because they're always about, well, one last push. Let's see if we can manifest something amazing here. Look at a look at the wounded warrior looking at six of pentacles, looking at ten of cups. Cappy cap, what's going on? About some passionate communication and the possibility of a new beginning. Because I feel that you use that sword right there to remove energies from your life. You know, the old wounded warrior is looking at all this, dare I say, because, well. This person right here is realizing not to put their energy into situations that ain't giving that amazing energy back. Forgive me, Capricorn. I love you. I see it right here. Clear, clear, clear. Now look, bottom of the deck, I got some kind of movement right here, Capricorn, the chariot. What's going on here? Somebody coming rushing in or Cappy rushing to go see? That's nice. You know, it's my dark pony, my light pony, my yin yangers right here. It is a card of victory. It is a card of movement in the mundane. <laughs> I think somebody's coming to talk to you, Cappy, or you're going to talk to somebody about Four of Wandy stuff. Oh, baby, baby, what's happening here? About home and heart and stability. <laughs> Woo, what a read, man, what a read for, you know, 
Uh, what's this about? Who, who's this right here? Queen of Wands energy, Six of Cups. Queen of Wands, you know, fiery, passionate, good-looking, exciting, charismatic, fun to be with, individual right here, possibly entrepreneur energy, male or female. I got no gender with the face cards. Ooh, somebody that knows their worth. Six of Cups, too, you know. Maybe an old friend. I don't know. You know what's going on. Definitely going to be a friend <laughs> with six cups and four wands and the chariot. This is victory coming in here. Sweet, sweet connection. I don't know if you've met this person before. Six of cups can talk about a past life lover showing back up one more time in Cappy's life. I they cut something out of their world right here. You know, when you release that toxic energy, don't be surprised if something amazing fills that. That void that uh, you just made by swinging that sword around. <laughs> wow, man. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right. I'm going to play with the witch's tail right here. Let's get a little more on this for Cap Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Sweet, sweet love story right here. Opening up. But you know, the old wounded warrior right there. Processing. Uh, probably from using that sword. Uh, do what's best for you, you know. Maybe somebody that's been waiting for Cappy Cap to drop the sword. I don't know. Maybe they come rushing in the chariot, wanting the four of wands. You know, this is about preparing for the big day, dancing around the maypoles. Six of cups, sweet thoughts and nostalgia. You know, lovers, past life lovers here. Uh, oh, make sure somebody's coming in with flowers in their cups. You know what I'm talking about? It's really nice. And Queen of Wands is somebody, you know, good looking, exciting. <laughs> the Queen of Passion. Magic, you know, there's a black cat in their lap. They, they, they're definitely not afraid of the esoteric, probably involved. And I like everything I see right here. My Nine of Wander, Wounded Warrior right here. Coming out of that, man, looking at Six of Pentacles, uh, equal give and take. Oh, man, it's a passionate communication. This is fun. All right, give me something on this. Give me something on this. What's that Ace of Swords about for Capricorn? Thank you, love team. Ooh, the Empress came out. Yeah, yeah, cutting things out that no longer serve you for your highest good. The Empress is all about new beginnings in abundance, new beginnings in love. The Empress is about knowing your worth, right? She's seated on her throne. Yeah, she don't get up and chase anybody or anything. She uses law of attraction to attract her love and abundance of the highest degree. I love that crown up on top of that sword, you know. Let's, let's you know, use law of attraction to attract somebody in that has that crown of, dare I say, integrity on their head, right? And you are right there. The chariot's coming in. Chariot's coming in here. Bring my empress something amazing. Here we go. The Princess of Wands. What's that about, love team? Thank you. Dropped a card right there. Four Pentacles came out. And this card for me is about holding on. Holding on. This is uh, holding on to somebody with the heart chakra. Six of Cups. Four of Wands. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's passionate communication from somebody who's been holding on to my cap and cap with their heart chakra for a minute. Feeling a little closed off. That's because cap and cap is probably dealing with somebody over there. And they, they let them go from what I can see right here. And uh, Ten of Cups. What's Ten of Cups about? Is some kind of passionate communication coming in. Two of Pentacles came out on top of that. That is, uh, well, I see it. It's the wounded warrior right here trying to keep themselves so balanced with some kind of passionate communication that, that comes in from somebody good-looking, exciting, charismatic, fun to be with, six of cups. You may have known them in the past. Doesn't mean that they have to be an old lover, just a friend. that definitely wants to become a lover right here. It's fun spread, four of wands, and the chariot. There's quick movement towards victory here. Uh, but two of pentacles would talk about, you know, it's, it's pentacles, it's Capricorn. It's, it's, it's my Cap Cap is keeping themselves balanced right now. It's nice. It's nice. You know, because the wounded warrior probably needs to process a little bit. But, yeah, 
ah, here comes somebody. Brum, 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 brum. Coming in here for Capricorn. <laughs> Ooh, and they are good looking too, boy. Ooh, try to keep yourself balanced. But again, you know, there's an infinity symbol here. There's four, four of wands and the chariot with the yin yangers, right? Something's here, man. I don't know if you know this person or not, but it's definitely some kind of past life lover. Six of Pentacles. This is nice, Cappy. Six of Pentacles. What's it here for? The great philanthropist. Equal give and take. Three of Wands. Yeah, somebody's had their eye on you for a while here. Uh, seeing you as their ships. Yeah, uh, talking with Source about it. Putting all their heart, soul, and strength into it. Uh, three of Wands and Six Pinnacles means it's definitely time that somebody's realized it's time for me to move. Time for me to move towards my cap and cap. Here we go, Wounded Warrior. Yeah, Three of Swords, Cappy. Three of Swords right here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a little spiritual surgery right here. I felt this the whole time going through this spread. I'm going to shake these out, Cappy. You ready to go? Let's get these out. Here we go. Out, out, out. Get out of Capricorn's heart. Out. Thank you, love team. Oh, oh, my star. <laughs> star card off of the bottom of the deck here. Aquarius may mean something to you, may not. That, uh, uh, the other majors that I have are Cancer with the Chariot, and the Empress is Aries, uh, Taurus, Libra. But there's a star coming in. That's that star of great hope, great faith, the potential of your dreams to become reality. Again, has my golden angelic being with the two cups that always talks with me about the true love. Could have been about some divines that have been in separation for a period. Somebody let something go right here so the star can manifest. These cards are showing up regularly. A rambling been shouting about unions for a year and a half right here as we're going to 2021. It's that big old conjunction that happened in December 21st with Saturn and Jupiter at zero degrees in Aquarius, if you ask me. Nice card right here. What do we got? Bottom of the deck, I have an offer. Now, I don't know. It's a Capricorn card right here, so this may be Cap and Cap moving in that direction. But either way, somebody's communicating here. This is sweet what's coming in. It had to do with releasing yourself of uh, a situation. You know, the Wounded Warrior, Three of Swords. Uh, you know, all that. We shook those out. This is some kind of offer. You know, it's the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles. It's a communication card. It's face-to-face -face meets, telephone, FaceTime, right? Hey, can we go have a cup of coffee? Look at this, man. It's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. It's one step at a time, you know. It's as gorgeous as this Queen of Wands energy. It's amazing, it's amazing energy right here. I want more on this, please. Give me something on this, please. Thank you, love team. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the fire ponies here. Yeah, passion. Oh, look, man. It's all over. It's all over. It's right here. It's very, it's very clear. All right. It's about Capricorn. The devil card, releasing themselves from some kind of self-imposed bondage, whatever that's about. I don't know what that was, but Capricorn has set themselves free from it. Could have been a karmic relationship, could have been some kind of addictions. It's the devil. And it says that you set yourself free from it with that Ace of Swords so that you can go with new beginnings of the Empress right here. Abundance, prosperity, love. Oh, you know, birthing something new and creative with a chariot coming out. And uh, coming out of hangman position right here. Another major arcana. Somebody's looking at something with a new perspective. And that can, you know, that's for Wandy stuff right here. Uh, looking at stuff with a new perspective. Coming out of dark night of the soul. 
This is Pisces, may mean something to you, may not. Got Odin's crow up there with a golden coin. Yeah, this uh, this golden coin that our little princess has right here. Hey Capricorn, hey Capricorn, uh, I got the golden coin for you right here. And there's movement here with the Knight of Wands bringing in the cup of love, you know. Uh, it's a great adventurer, the risk taker, Cappy. Somebody's coming for you. They want to bring you the cup of love. Maybe they've been watching what's going on with you. And maybe as soon as you cut something out of your life, they're like, oh, it's time to move. It's time to move. What a beautiful story right here of love coming in from my Capricorns. Love and passion and great courage that somebody's going to take to move forward. I don't know if it's Cappy or your friend, right? Vice versa, right? You know what's going on in your life right here. But somebody, there's great passion and uh, excitement uh, happening with Capricorn, you know, because there's a new, there's a new, there's a new cup <laughs> that's being offered to my Capricorn. Beautiful stuff. Let's throw a love card on this for Capricorn. Thank you. Thank you, love team. Capricorn got themselves free from the devil, whatever that's about. Ah, yeah. Yeah, baby. Here we go. And the chariot, there's forward movement towards victory, towards some kind of four of wands union, six of cups union, star union. <laughs> Coming in here from my Cappy Cap. Give me a love card on this, please. Thank you. Thank you, love team. Keep an open mind. There we go. Because your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation, which is a great card right here. Because of your usual type and expectation for a lover was the devil. Those days are done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More of the Empress energy coming in here for you. Yeah, yeah, it's a great card. Yeah, Because, you, you know, if you've been dealing with the devil, well, you know... It's not a bad thing to have a different kind of lover come in. <laughs> there we go. Codependency came out. There it is. There's that devil card again. Uh, one more time about releasing yourself from some kind of self-imposed bondage right here. So that this new love cycle can begin to unfold from my Capricorns. Odin's crow up in the tree right there. Hey, Capricorn. Look at this golden pinnacle right here. Nice. Unrequited love. Those days are done. Definitely let something go right here, didn't you, Cappy? And there's a, something new and fresh coming in, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. Yeah, somebody's going to come in here and make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Again, I don't know who's moving here. You know your story. But great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take, guided by the star right here. Guided by the star. Love it. And look at right here. Yeah. Express your love. Somebody's going to come in and express your love because there's absolutely been a releasing of an ex right here. Wow. Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. Past life lovers, learning and forgiving. Wow, and let your friends help you. Because you deserve love. I love that card right there because she is the one large and in charge of that arrow. Shooting that arrow exactly who this character wants in their life right here. Absolutely beautiful, Capricorn. Happy for you. Happy for you. Enjoy February, huh? It's nice, man. Now with the old, in with the new. Ooh, this new looks really good too, man. I mean, come on. The chariot, four of wands, six of cups, and the star. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, and the queen of wands. Good looking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Passionate. Ooh. Go get it, Cappy Cap. Here we go. What do we got? Major on this. Hangman. Hangman. But you know, I like the hangman right here. I like him right here, too, because we had Odin's crow. There we go. Hangman. You know, it's about coming out of this dark night of the soul stuff. See Source blasting the hangman with the lightning bolt right there. And uh, hangman's all about a new perspective for something new and shiny to come in. Uh, 
that was the moon I saw right there. So somebody's a little nervous, but they're going to break through that nerve. Somebody's getting in the chariot. Somebody's going to come in here with an offer. Hey, can we go have a cup of coffee? <laughs> I love it, man. Here we go. Give me one more. Capricorn. Yeah. The world card came out. Major Arcana, the last one. Number 21. It's about old cycles ending. It's about years of stuff being upside down, turning around here for you, Capricorn. New beginnings coming in. That's where the fool comes in. That fresh start, that new beginning, that leap of faith. You know, it's definitely about seeing yourself as this golden angelic being right here. Seeing the world as your oyster. And ooh la la, here comes my pearl of great prize. Amazing. Oh yeah, let's just... You know, the sun. <laughs> the sun right here as an overall, the sun and the chariot and the lovers. Oh, Capricorn. Enjoy February, my friends. Capricorn, if you're with me to this part of the video, you are absolutely my hero. I love you. Thank you for uh, watching my videos today. Have fun. Enjoy the journey right here, Capricorn. Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you soon, Capricat. Bye for now.